Hey guys, my name is Jay. Today I'm going to show you some simple redstone clock designs for droppers and dispensers so you can do cool stuff like this. Whee! Alright, so we've got three different designs here, all with different applications, but they're all also very, very simple to make. So this one here uses observers, which is, this design is probably the simplest out of them all, and it's also the fastest. So if you pop these carrots in here, you can see they come out very, very quickly. You can see in the in the inventory bar there that I'm getting carrots quite rapidly. Uh, you could use this with a dispenser for bone meal as well, or uh, with arrows or potions or fire charges or anything if you wanted to defend your base in the server. Or even if you wanted to drop items into a bin from a farm where you were sorting the items out and you had quite a few items that you didn't want to uh, sort of keep in a storage system. Next up on our list is also a very simple design using comparators and redstone repeaters and redstone dust. This one's a little bit slower but it is also toggleable so you might want to use this one if you're using a storage system with water streams. Uh, where the items are maybe traveling a little bit too fast for the hoppers to pick them up. You can also toggle the speed on this one with the repeaters at the back here, and you can make it quite a lot slower as well. Moving on here, we've got this dropper in a wall here, and if you press this button right here, you'll get dispensed eight items very quickly. There's one on the ground there. And you could use this if you wanted to either have like some sort of storage system and you want to drop these into a... A hopper with um, shulker boxes or if you wanted smart storage where you sort of send an item it decodes it and then you just get eight items out of this or you could also use it if you wanted to you know like get dispensed just sort of eight carrots or eight pieces of wheat for your farm or whatnot uh, so it's a very simple design as well if we head on back here it's just using a torch burnout circuit here and when you press the button this redstone dust lights up Process this piston out and it resets the clock. All right, so all you need to do to build the first one is you need a dropper or a dispenser, whichever you choose, a redstone comparator, pop that behind into a block, and then you want a sticky piston facing out this way, an observer you want to place on the corner there so that it faces in that way, and another observer right there. And then once there is an item in the dropper, the piston will push the observer out and then that will start the clock. Very, very simple. For the second design, you want your dropper or dispenser just like that, a redstone comparator behind it, a redstone repeater right there, one right there and one right there, and then redstone dust all the way around it like that, and a block right there. And as soon as you put your piece of, uh, in, in, as soon as you put your item inside, then it will get dispensed out as well. And for the third and final design, you just want to have your dropper right there, a block right there behind it, a repeater going into that, block like so and delete that one there put a torch on this side and a piece of dust there that's your clock set up then you want a piston facing in like so we'll patch that up put a redstone dust there this is where I suspect you'll have your wall and a button on it like so and then if you fill up this with eight items right there you'll see you get dispensed those eight items Perfect. Alright, so I've set up an example of what you could use the Observer one for. Uh, so say you've got an AFK fish farm, you get a lot of cod and you don't really want to keep it. You can just chuck it in here and as it goes through it will dispense it very quickly. You can see it actually dispenses it too quick for the, uh, for the clock to keep up. But there you go, you can see it's getting rid of the cod really, really quickly. Look at that. It's actually getting rid of it too fast for the hopper to keep up. Alright, so if you want to keep your cod and many other different items and they're going through a sorting system, you may want to go with a circuit that's a little bit slower with a toggleable speed and that will just help the, um, the system along so that it can decode the items without getting overrun with uh, different types of items. And a good example with this last design here, say you had a little bit of a cow farm set up with a storage system for wheat. Just press this button, you'll get dispensed eight pieces of wheat and you can breed up your cows. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video of some redstone clock designs and some ideas on how to use them. I've been Jay, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.